John Calvin on Psalm 91, verses 5 through 7. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. The psalmist continues to insist upon the truth which we have just adverted to, that if we confide with implicit reliance upon the protection of God, we will be secure from every temptation and assault of Satan. It is of importance to remember that those whom God has taken under his care are in a state of the most absolute safety. Even those who have reached the most advanced experience find nothing more difficult than to rely upon divine deliverance and more especially when, overtaken by some of the many forms in which danger and death await us in this world, doubts will insinuate themselves into our hearts, giving rise to fear and disquietude. There was reason, therefore, why the psalmist should enter upon a specification of different evils, encouraging the Lord's people to look for more than one mode of deliverance, and to bear up under various and accumulated calamities. Mention is made of the fear of the night, because men are naturally apprehensive in the dark, or because that night exposes us to dangers of different kinds, and our fears are apt at such a season to magnify any sound or disturbance. There is no kind of calamity which the shield of the Almighty cannot ward off and repel. A thousand may fall at your side. The psalmist proceeds to show that, though the state of all men may to appearance be alike, the believer has the special privilege of being exempted from evils of an imminent and impending nature for it might be objected that he was but man, and, as such, exposed with others to death in its thousand different forms. To correct this mistake, the psalmist does not hesitate to assert that, when universal ruin prevails around, we are privileged with a special exemption which secures our safety in the midst of dangers.